was on a national training by ECOWAS Gender Development Center in partnership with Women's Bureau and other stakeholders. The objective of the training was to build capacity of members to better understand the concept of gender analysis and gender mainstreaming in national policies and programs. This is geared towards the attainment of gender equality and equity in the Gambia. The ECOWAS Gender Development Center, in partnership with the Office of the Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs, Women's Bureau, Minister of Trade and Regional Integration, conducted a gender training for key partners using the gender training toolkit developed by the ECOWAS Gender Development Center. The objective of the training workshop is to build capacity of partners to better understand the concept of gender analysis and gender mainstreaming in national policies and programs and to play a more active role in the attainment of gender equity and equality in the Gambia. During deliberations, participants were given a chance to dilate on the way forward for gender equity and equality. I believe we, we are not lost, but we are a, a resistant generation we are resisting we are resisting the fact that you know gender is an issue and not only for women because everybody for most people when you talk about gender the first thing they think about is women even yesterday my, at my office an education officer for that matter yes came to my office and saw the PEO gender written on the door because uh, Tila was out and I was in her office there the first remark he made was gender mm -hmm. and started quoting the Quran, Quranic verse. Mm -hmm. Then I completed it for him. I said, Bima You see? Mm -hmm. he, he, he quoted that verse and stopped at just the, the, the point where according to their interpretation, you say men are above women. God raised men above women. And, and what you completed was? What, on, upon what God has given them. As, you know, in, in terms of trade, whatever, wealth or whatever. Hmm? In, and, and entitlement. So we started discussing. And I, I led him through until he finally agreed that gender was not only for women, but for both men and women. Because... He started saying when women go to war, I said exactly like the, the men do. Exactly. He said, no, no, but the, 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 sometimes men are strong. As, what about if they are pregnant? I, I said, pregnant women don't go to war. And that is not gender, that is sex. So he started seeing the difference between sex and gender, the difference between feminism and gender. You know, people should understand what gender actually is about. Mm -hmm. That is our problem. Mm -hmm. I think maybe we will be able to not question of eradicate it 100%, but at least um, uh, an increased percentage of people to be aware of what gender is and uh, what gender-based violence is and uh, also the issue of uh, women um, being uh, um, sexually assaulted or other um, uh, um, issues. And then the, um, the other issue is about uh, people who should report cases about this gender-based violence, as you have rightly stated, that uh, keeping quiet doesn't make, uh, um, uh, it makes things worse. Because of a uh, society issue, you know, people are adapt to this um, uh, thing like they don't want to report. They don't want to come to the police. Whereby we have this uh, welfare unit, yes, um, whereby they are working hand and glove with the social welfare department. Um, uh, if you see the rate of uh, crime, you know, people are nowadays, some are coming, but some are not coming. It means that they are not aware. Aware. Yes, Absolutely. it's on awareness of uh, the after effect of uh, the um, the crime. Yes. You know, if being committed, what are the perpetrators going to face? If it is being uh, spelled out more openly, people will be able to know their rights. You know, and uh, whatever punishment they will receive after. I think uh, still there is need for more.
space here this on camera. And at the same time, it would have been better if we would be able to establish gender unit in most of the areas. Because these mainstreaming into policies and others require a specialist who would be within an institution to be able to do it. But the problem that we normally have is, in this country, even Women's Bureau, being the institution that is coordinating gender issues, we find it even very difficult to access funds for our projects in the various ministries. And this should have been, since the establishment of these gender focal points to now, I think now we would have been going to another level, that is establishing to strengthen and they will be able to use their at least to cooperate mainstream certain things into their